The project's called Tunics for Goalposts. It followed the 11 men who played for Glossop Football Club in 1914-15 season. We followed them through the First World War, found out who went to war, who didn't go to war, who was a hero, who was a villain. We had a walking football group who wanted to mark the 1914 Christmas game. Out of that session, out of that afternoon, came a conversation about, about heritage, about the World War and about football, and eventually it coalesced into the project idea. Well, the end product of the project was a website which enabled us to follow those men one by one, get their stories and the stories of the people around them and the town around them, and present it in a way that people could access. I was introduced to people who I'd not met before, who had similar interests in what we were doing. And the idea of socialising with these people and mixing with these people in an educational sense was of immense value to me. Well, we went to the Heritage Lottery Fund, um, got some help from Derbyshire Records Office in putting a bid together to them, and they funded us for a year. It made it possible because we did a good job, because we could take time and do it in depth. And it also meant that we were able to engage with other people like the football club and the library service and the newspaper and get messages out into schools and community groups, which we would never have done if we just researched it ourselves. This is actually where the guys played. This is where Glossop Football Club played in the 14-15 season. And the pitch itself would run parallel with the railway line. So this is now the home of Glossop Cricket Club who moved in when Glossop Football Club moved out back in the day. I believe it to be important that people understand what their heritage is, what it's about, where they came from, how they came to be where they are. This sort of research enables a wider audience to get a better idea of what their cultural heritage is. When we first heard about this project, we knew the library would be the perfect base. Well, we have all the materials that are needed. Uh, a lot of the stuff only libraries have, and we also have the trained staff who are able to help people find them and really get to the bottom of these investigations. The people who came together, some of them are still together as a core research team, and they want, they want to carry on and do more research. Manage your own expectations. We had a long list of things that we were going to do, and we actually really did a very good job at the centre of it. But there was other things extraneous to it, stuff about the mills themselves and how life was like in Glossop. And that's a whole different research project, really. So I think it, it, you need to be fairly clear about what your project is trying to achieve. We really enjoyed it. It was hugely rewarding. Everybody who was involved in it got a lot out of it.